Start recording. Stop recording. Button. Speech off. Hello guys. What I'm going to be reviewing today is the large scale version of the Leonardo figure that I took a look at back in October. So yeah, this is the larger. This is the large scale version. This is not the scaled down version that we saw way back in October. And the uh, this is not the action turtles version of Leonardo that we've seen. But I'll tell you that there's one big difference. This one does not even have the sword holder. I always thought it did. Because when I took it out of the package, uh, I thought it was kind of broken. But no, it's not. It, it, it turns out it didn't come with that. And it didn't actually come with a pamphlet. Or any pizza points, so... I don't know. What's up with that, Playmates? Ugh. Anyways, let's take a look at it. It's about... Uh, I don't know. Almost 11 inches tall. Um, I would say it's in that 11 inch scale, but... It's at that 10... Point two five. So, Michelangelo is a little bit above Leo's mask, about a quarter of an inch shorter than Leo. So that's how small Michelangelo would be. But, I believe Leo and Donnie don't have their respective holders, you know, because if they did, I would know it, I would know if they did, but it would have the holder where my finger is at, the holder would be right near where my finger is at, but no, there's no, there's nothing. I don't know, Playmates decided not to. Um, its articulation includes the head, shoulders. Thank goodness for tight shoulder joints. You have elbow, which, by the way, the left is kind of tight. And the right one, uh, yeah, I'd say it's tight. The wrists are a bit tight, but not so tight. The legs, uh, the thighs are tight, somewhat. Uh, the knees are kind of tight. And the feet are the last ones. They are very loose. You can practically spin them around. I mean, they're not that loose, but they're, they're kind of. You can kind of make them spin like a what? 45 degrees? Hmm, or 90 degrees. 180, I don't know. I'm not doing geometry here. I'm just doing a review. And I know you can see it. I mean, I know you cannot see it. So, I'm sorry. So, overall. The two differences with this figure. From the smaller scale 5 inch. Well, if you want to say that. I'd say Four and a half inch figure. This is like ten and a half, so it's like six inches taller. I would say. It would be about right there. That's where the handle would be. I mean the uh, blade thing. The holder thing, but it doesn't come with that. 
Yeah, there's not the first lane auto that doesn't come with this thing like that. Well, anyways, the small one doesn't. So does the more deluxe figure. It's, so that's one of the differences. The other difference is that it, the other figure had the ankle rockers. It can rock up and down. But no, this one doesn't. It still has 13 different points of articulation, and that's a lot better than, say, the, uh, the, I'm going to try and see if I can get the Battle Shell Land Auto from 2012, so I can basically show you what I mean, so, I also got a Michelangelo right there, but no, we're looking at Leo, so, the Battle Shell Leo from 2012, boom! You can totally lift his head. Like, totally. I think you can actually twist his band down a bit, but... This one, for comparison, this one has a lot less articulation. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one has nine points, and has the sheep on his back. And if you pop the show open, oh, I can't even pop it open. There we go. There's the show. It used to have all the uh, thing in it, but it didn't. So yeah, that's Playmates for you, but also, I want you guys to notice that since the Leonardo, the Battle Show Leo has bigger feet, he can stand up. So does the new one, but not only that, I am going to show you the Michelangelo from... The 2016 film that came out. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I don't even know. I think his feet do swivel. I think he's got thirteen, but I don't know. This is from the Out of the Shadow film, and he's like, what, ten inches tall. So I'm just going to show you a few. Different ones. Besides this one, I think stands up as well. Used to have the, I think I used to have the raft. I don't know where is that. So yeah, um, that was just a couple different things. And now I got this one. This new one that has about thirteen different points. True, it's a bit, maybe the size of that Michelangelo, but yeah, it's still. This one's a bit skinnier in size comparison. I think he's the skinniest of all three of those figures that I just mm, took a look at. Oh, and by the way, while we're here, we're going to look at the accessories. The first accessory is the normal Odachi sword, which can fit in either one of his hands. Mostly the right. It can't be two-handed or anything. The second one is the glowing sword. This one is a bit, you know, this one actually is, um, this one actually is kind of translucent, if you might, if you will. 
If you might want to say that, it's kind of translucent. Kind of translucent. Translucent. I don't know. But it's it's actually bigger. It doesn't have the fire flame things on it. And I guess my watch. That's not good. Plan to get Donatello sometime, but I don't know when. Sometime. And the final two accessories are the Ninja Stars. Mm, they're kind of big. And they don't feel as flexible as. As they were with the the small figure, so that Leonardo came in a open box packaging, and yeah, you can find these for twenty bucks. Yeah, what well, you want well, is Walmart or Target? I don't know. I think the mail was sort of Walmart, but I don't know. So, yeah, guys, that's practically it. Goodbye.